Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into the differences between make.com and Bardeen. These are two of the heavy hitters in the automation space, and I believe that you will have a little bit of a better understanding of the differences between these two tools, how you can use them individually and use them together. So first of all, this is something that everyone cares about, pricing. When it comes to the differences between make.com and Zapier, I'll note that they both have a free plan where you can essentially test out the product. And then there are more professional plans that do cost that sweet, sweet moolah. Uh, the fact of the matter is you do get more operations per month from make.com. However, the other fact is that it's a bit of a misnomer because a lot of what you can do with make.com is more search oriented and that requires more automations to kind of filter through the data. It takes more steps in the sequence. Whereas Bardeen, a credit is like an entire usage of an automation and pretty much not the same thing. So pricing wise, let's put that to the side for now. They're both reasonably priced in the automation space. I wouldn't freak out about this. And they do end up having increases in cost as you increase your level of automation usage. A nice thing about make.com though, which I will say is that you can purchase individual automations as a like buy extra operations for the month to stop gap months where you need more automation. Now, first of all, what can you do inside of make.com? Make.com allows you to make very advanced scenarios where you can customly build your if then logic in a understandable flow sort of format builder here, right? Like this is pretty large, but to me, makes sense in my head after I built it. It's been around for a while, and ever since it changed from Integromat to make.com, I found that the stability has continuously improved and they level up what's inside of it consistently. It is a lot of integrations with most of the major apps out there and continues to expand its set. Like I mentioned though, the main issue that I have with make.com is that one, you can't scrape data, and two, you also can pretty much only count on these automations to work at a you know set interval time. Like every hour this runs and looks for Notion tasks that are related to like editing videos or thumbnails that aren't assigned to anybody. And then it will take a look at my Notion and reference this table and whoever has the highest score ends up getting assigned the video. Now for me, this works great for project management, calendar management, all that kind of stuff. But for somebody who wants automations to come more consistently and kind of come through when somebody fills out a form or does a specific task in a product, I always have to do some workaround or spend a lot of operations consistently searching for it every 10, 15 minutes. This is not ideal because as you can see here, this little scenario scheduling, this is what we like to call an acid trigger where essentially it automatically triggers the scenario when a instance in another app occurs. It only really works when products have webhooks. This guy works great for forms. For other products like Notion and Todoist and so many different ones that have acid triggers, it could go from not running it to 30 minutes to running it right away. It's very inconsistent, very frustrating, and honestly, I need to sip my coffee waiting for it sometimes, and I might as well just manually input the data. Now, when it comes to make.com though, it does have so many different custom ways that you can filter and create huge scenarios. It also has a solid Zapier module, so you can send stuff out there with webhooks and fill in any stop gaps in the misses that are make.com modules. However, for me, I think if you're looking for a better solution for things like scraping, definitely recommend checking out Bardeen. Uh, Bardeen has a myriad of different options and it's not necessarily a website more than it's a Chrome browser extension. And there are a couple different things you need to know about the product. One, there are playbooks where essentially playbooks are the different automations that you can run by clicking on them. And then you have auto books. These auto books essentially in real time with something happening will create a automation for you. Just like we were talking about with the acid webhooks, this is basically the same thing. So when an email is received, it would get a summary of the email and make like a notion page, for example. That's something that we like a little bit more with Bardeen than make.com because it does it a little bit quicker. It doesn't have all the acid trigger issues that make.com does. So the auto books are pretty solid. The playbooks, especially when it comes to scraping, work really well too. For example, I built out a automation just by typing in this magic box AI 
that you do not get on make.com. Create a automation where company info is scraped from a LinkedIn page and sent to Airtable. Then I press generate and on loginmake.com going through all the hurdles of having to do it myself, it ends up making it for me. And then if I want to, I can edit it in the builder and take a look at it even more, right? Just, just continuously glance through what's in here. The builder is a little less fun to navigate than make.com. However, like I said, if you're trying to make automations pretty quickly, it does a better job of it. Now, when clicking inside of this, I then would look for my Airtable base. So I could do accounts, which is the name of my table in my sales CRM. And then if I press remember inputs and adjust all of these, all I need to do is go through and match the different data that it was found on the Bardeen side and map it to the fields inside of my Airtable base, right? So then from there, what I'm going to do is I've already actually set this up. So I can just click on this, go to the Bardeen page as an example for the LinkedIn profile, press enter, and then you'll see that it is running scrape data on the active tab using the scraper template right there. Wow. Look at this. This is all the data that's going to come through. Okay. So it allows you to even download the data too, which is pretty cool. So if I press download, we'll send it out as a CSV. However, if you notice here inside of my Airtable, it did in fact automatically add as much data as it could. There's the address in there, how many employees we got, the industry, and much, much more. Even linking back to the company LinkedIn, which is cool. Now when going through and scraping this data, you're gonna have a lot easier of a time than if you're using something like make.com. You really can't do scraping with make and for a sales cycle or for companies that have a sales team, I think uh, Bardeen might be a little bit better because of its scraping capabilities. And the auto books are definitely nicer than the uh, ridiculous acid triggers inside of make.com. So while you might be more familiar with make.com or Bardeen, I will say that both of these have their use cases. I would say that I would use Bardeen for more scraping and automatic capabilities, but with make.com, if you're doing those large build outs of automations, it would make sense to use those. All of these apps have their use and I appreciate each of them for having their individual benefits and pros and cons. I'm an avid user of make.com, but this video was sponsored by Bardeen as I do work with them and love all that they do with their company because I'm looking out for everyone in the world of automation and trying to make sure that it's being done right by companies and Bardeen is actively trying to improve its product all the time. And I'm very appreciative for it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this one, make sure to check out other content like this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.